secretary and tell her I can meet with her at 10.30. Set up the conference call with Dr. Stone for next week. Oh, and tell the Safe Diamond Head Committee. I'll be happy to lend my name for their fundraiser. Okay? Hold the fort. Thanks, Julie. I'm on my final approach. Daniel, how's the trip? Better face the place. Except for the prices. I think I got scalped by the Indians. They sure didn't get much. Ho, ho, ho. Kenji, you look positively picturesque. Thank you. Oh, we saw a condo. Great buy, but Laura said no so. Never marry a woman from Iowa, you know? Herbert Hoover was born there. They're always worried about the next depression. Here. Oh. Hey, just my style. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> A belt buckle for you. And we got Joan Alexander Stetson. You call her yet? Who? Oh, no, not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? Ken, I, I can't call someone for a blind date like some teenager. I'd feel like a jerk. Uh, maybe in a week or so. Right now, I'm on an overload. Just do it, okay? Why me? I'm not the only single guy in town. Well, Laura thinks you need a woman. Well, I've got a gorgeous ex-wife. Doesn't she count? Well, not according to Laura. Look, aside from everything else, I've got no time. I've got family obligations up to here. Half my clothes aren't unpacked. My books are still in cartons. Daniel, I hear you, but Laura's decided that Joan Alexander is the only woman for you. So give it up, because she won't. Oh, I know for a fact that she's free this afternoon, because Laura was her only lesson. Lesson? She's a teacher? Yeah, she's a writing instructor over at Nancy Oliver's place in Mokalia. So, hey, you know, she's in the same boat you are. She's only been here for a couple of months. Daniel, I tell you, she's funny, she is bright, and oh boy, is she gorgeous. So what could be so wrong, huh? Kenji, just to end this conversation, I'll call her. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell me what you found out about Mr. Crane, Paul. Uh, he's a 42-year-old Caucasian. He came to the hospital after experiencing 15 minutes of retrosternal chest discomfort. Uh, he said it felt like having someone sit on his chest. He'd never experienced anything like it before. Any radiation to the left arm? Uh, yes, and I asked him if he broke out into a sweat, uh, but he said he was doing laps. The pain made him stop, but subsided after 10 minutes. Past medical history? Negative for hypertension and diabetes. No family history of heart disease. Social history? Uh, I just remembered I forgot to ask. Mr. Crane? been a smoker? How can you tell? I smoke with my right hand. Smoking leaves all sorts of signs. How long? This last time? Mm -hmm. About a year. I started a new job. You know how it is. When did you start? When I was 16. Hiding behind the coconut trees. <laughs> how many packs a day? A pack. pack and a half. That makes about 500 packs a year for... 25 years. When you put it that way, it doesn't sound too good, does it? Not great. Dr. Metzger, why don't you take over from here? Dr. Kalani will be right in. Hello, I'm Dr. Kalani. Yoko Kihara. Mm -hmm. What seems to be the problem? I'm busy. Breakfast didn't stay with me, and I have a stomachache. Uh -huh. Well, let's have a listen.
Is your husband with you? I was married late and widowed early. This is the first time I ever left Japan. It must be difficult for you being sick in a strange country. We'll make you as comfortable as we can. Uh, take a deep breath, please. Mm -hmm. One more. And just two more. Heart is strong, your lungs are clear, but you're running a slight fever. I'll lie back, please. A little tender. Mrs. Kiara, I'm going to keep you here overnight in case something's developing. Is there someone you'd like us to call? My daughter in Kyoto. The tour I came with to Hawaii is leaving to Japan this afternoon, and she'll worry. When will I be able to return home, Dr. Kalani? Uh, Mrs. Kihara, this is Dr. McGrath, my associate. Hello. Um, the hotel recommended you, Dr. Kalani. I have money to pay you to take care of me. My insurance will cover all your fees. This is a teaching hospital, Mrs. Kihara. Dr. McGrath is one of our top residents. You can trust her completely. Do you supervise her? Of course, but it's rarely necessary. Dr. McGrath, let's go over Mrs. Kiara's test results as soon as they're back from the lab. Thank you, Dr. Kalani. Your eyes, Dr. McGrath. You're so young. Your parents must be very proud of you studying so hard to become a doctor. I am a doctor, Mrs. Kihara. I'm a licensed physician. When I was young, growing up in Japan, medicine was man's profession. Times change. Could you open your mouth for me, please? I have a new grandson. My first grandchild. Congratulations. His name is Jiro, after my husband. After I get home, we will go to the Golden Temple to commemorate his birth. The time to have children is when you're young. Dr. McGrath, how old will you be on your next birthday? I'm 27, Mrs. Kihara getting older by the minute. Could you open your mouth for me, please? Laura and Kenji were practically the first people I met here. They've been so kind, they bought me this great hat. <laughs> It never stops, either. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've known Kenji since medical school. Come here. Where's that? Stanford. Anatomy class. We had the distinction of being the only two who fainted the first time we ever met up with a cadaver. <laughs> you know, I had an uncle who was a doctor. Uh, worked his way through med school, and once he was so broke, he made a deal to sell his body for some much-needed cash. <laughs> Good grief. <sighs> you don't suppose he's the one Kenji and I met up with? <laughs> well, there's more. Um, later, when... Um, married and successful, my aunt went back to the school and bought his contract back. It was a 10th anniversary present. I must have heard half a dozen versions of that story. You are putting me on. <laughs> you caught me. What about your real family? Oh, they're so boring. Tell me about them anyway. 
Well, my, uh, my dad died when I was three. All I really remember about him was that he had a beard and he smoked a cigar. Like Freud? Exactly. Only he never analyzed patients. He analyzed racing for them. Did you ever read Alice in Wonderland? No. Well, my mother was a dead ringer for the Red Queen. Needless to say, I scampered out of the rabbit hole as fast as I possibly could. I'm glad you, Laura, finally got you to call. So am I. You like my ties? Are you asking me out? Restaurant of your choice. The only thing is it'll have to be early. I've got a meeting at the hospital later. Okay. How about... Uh, Luma High Charlie's. Don't know it. Food's great. Yeah. Okay, uh, 6 o'clock. I've got to get back to work now. I'll pick you up at 5.30. Well, the restaurant's right near the hospital. I could, uh, I could just meet you there instead. Okay, you're on. Her white count is slightly elevated, but not alarmingly. Amylase? Over a thousand, or Billy Rubin's creeping up. Amylase in the urine. Is her pain any worse? Oh, Daniel, I told you so, right? Tell Laura she has a keen eye. I uh, can't interrupt her. She's making up the guest list for your wedding. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, for dinner tonight, order the abalone. It's wonderful. <laughs> you were saying? Uh, um... I'm sorry, I was just listening. Um, I asked you about Mrs. Kihara's pain. Oh, right. Um, well, it's hard to tell. She's pretty stoic. I ordered some medication for her just in case she needs it. I'm leaning towards acute pancreatitis. What did the ultrasound show? A lot of stones in the gall bag and a dilated common duct. Did you order any tests? A hepatobiliary scan. If there is an impacted stone, that'll tell us for sure. Thanks for being so thorough. And I'll let you know about the abalone. I'm waiting for someone. I was getting worried. Sorry. I feel like a total idiot. I got lost. Hawaiian street names all sound alike, right? <laughs> How'd you guess? That and Sunburn are the two big newcomer complaints. Didn't you say you'd eaten here before? No, no, not me. Uh, Nancy, the woman that I worked for, did. She raved about it. Uh, do you think I could get a drink? Sure. Hi. Nice oh. to see you again. Excuse me? Last week, you asked me if I he was a dolphin, and if it was, you said you'd have chicken. No, it couldn't have been me. I've never been here before. But I'm sure I saw you last. Could I have a Mai Tai, please? Thank you, too. 